Why, Happy New Year and I hope everyone's had a great Christmas and is having a good New Year but uh, by the time this video will be up it will probably be the first weekend of January because I do Monster Month in January and well um, I'm, I'm going to go out and do random revolting reviews and what have you try and do it at weekends at least so yeah as you know we're at the start of 2023 i haven't seen any horror movies of this year just yet but uh, yeah this is my top 10 most ante anticipated horror movies for 2023 so my top 10 this is all my personal opinion these are movies that um i'm looking forward to it to come this year so let's get it underway so number 10 is saw x the 10th installment in the saw franchise i mean i like the saw movies i liked spiral but i didn't love it but yeah i'm thinking what more can they do with this one but you know I i'm keen to see what they could do with this so yeah saw x my number 10 Number nine is Ranfield. Uh, this is a comedy horror with Nicolas Cage and Nicholas Holt, where Nicolas Cage plays Dracula and Nicholas Holt is, you know, Dracula's lackey, his familiar, Ranfield, which I don't know much about, but seems interesting enough. I like Dracula, so I look forward to seeing that when it's out. Number eight is Insidious 5. Um, and I, I can't remember the official title. I mean, one title at one point was The Dark Realm, I think. But I like the Insidious franchise, and I believe Patrick Wilson is taking over directing duties uh, in this one. So, again, I, I'm keen to see it. It's going to be a follow-on from the first two, I believe. So, yeah, I, I look forward to him going back to the, you know, the Lambert storyline in the Insidious franchise. Um, so number seven is Knock at the Cabin. So this is an M. Night Shyamalan film. And as you know, we're all going for the twist to see what it is. But in this, from what we've seen in the trailers, it's, uh, you know, two dads take their daughter to a cabin. And then there's these strangers that tell them that the world is ending and they must seek refuge in the cabin or what have you. Again, I don't know much about this one. I don't think I've read the source material or what have you. But like I said... We all go for the twists, don't we? Because M. Night Shyamalan loves his twists, doesn't he? Number six is Infinity Pool. Uh, this is, again, an upcoming film with Mia Goff. And she is smashing it in horror lately. I mean, I liked her in A Cure for Wellness, but X and its prequel, Pearl. I look forward to the third movie coming out this year as well, which is in this top ten. But Mia Goff needs to be using a proper voice in this as well. And it's from David Cronenberg's son. So it's going to have some body oddy horror stuff in there. Which I don't mind. So yeah. Infinity Pool looks interesting. At number 5 it is Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. So for almost a year now we've had this teased at us. We saw photos back in May. We saw a trailer come out in the autumn. It was expected to come out about the autumn time. But due to them getting a lot of attention and more money, they've gone and made it a bit better. So it's coming out in February 15th for limited screenings. I think one day. So I'm hoping it'll be available for on demand a week or so later or something. But I really want to see this one. You know, since Winnie the Pooh went into the public domain, meaning Disney no longer has exclusive rights of the story of Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin or Piglet. And this is Piglet and Pooh on a murderous rampage after Christopher Robin abandoned them all those years ago. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's going to be absurd. It's going to be stupid and witty, but I am looking forward to it greatly. Number four is Megan or Megan. Uh, produced by James Wan, starring Alison Williams. I like her. She's done some good stuff like, uh, you know, Get Out uh, and The Perfection and other stuff. So, yeah, this looks like evil robot doll horror that we're going to get in this one. And 
it does look edgy and is the probably the closest one the one that's coming out close to coming out i think it's out ne well it is out next week i'll i'll probably i'll, de I'll, I'll definitely try and make the time to see it because I, I do like the creepy doll megan in it at number three we have evil dead rise uh so this is the fifth movie in the Evil Dead franchise. I believe it's a requel or reboot or something. I believe it's not got Ash in it, but it's still going to have Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell's involvement as executive producers. And um, yeah, I saw the trailer. This is like in the in New York. They unleash the Deadites again. Crazy stuff, as always, with the Evil Dead films. Going in a different approach, which I like the look of. My number two film is Maxine with three X's. So we got X and Pearl in 2022, which were nice films. Great performances from Mia Goff on both ends. And this one, it's going to follow Maxine Minx uh, in 1985. So we had Pearl set in 1918 and X set in 1979. This one, we've got you know, Maxine in 1985, where she's trying to make it big in Hollywood. Uh, and that's all I know so far. And I look forward to it. It's, you know, the third part in Ty West's X trilogy. I look forward to it. And my number one pick, if you know me, you know my number one pick is Scream 6. So... I didn't think Scream could work without Wes Craven's touch, but they proved me wrong. The film was in his honour, which I liked. Uh, we, we got newcomers to the cast, including Jenna Ortega, who I'm growing to like really well because, well, she did Wednesday, and yeah, I think she's a young, talented actress, which I never took note of sooner. Uh, but yeah, this time they're in New York, not Woodsboro. So the first Scream film to take place out of Woodsboro since the third movie. Sadly, um, you know, Nev Campbell isn't returning as Sidney Prescott due to some payment-ish differences. I think we got Courtney Cox coming back. I'm looking forward to seeing this from the teaser trailer we got back in December. And like I said, Scream will always be have a special place in my heart and what have you. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Scream 6. So yeah, that um, those are my top 10 movies that I'm anticipating for um, 2023 so far. We've got more to come out this year as well. We've got an Exorcist requel from David Gordon Green, which again, he's going to do the Halloween thing where he'll make it a direct sequel to just the first movie. Uh, and we've got uh, you know, another film from Ari Aster coming out in December. So we got a long way to go for that one, but it's going to star Joaquin Phoenix. I can't remember what it's called yet, but we're going to see Ari Aster again with a, his third feature, which will probably be good because his first two were. Um, so, yeah, we're just getting started here on 2023, so we've got a lot to come. A lot of good movies, not just in horror, but all the other genres. So there you go. There is my top 10 movies that I am anticipating that I'm dying to see in 2023. That wasn't meant to rhyme. So, yeah. What do you think of this? What are your top 10 anticipations for this year? Let me know all that down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And feel free to share with your friends and to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's all down to you at the end of that, but it means a great deal to me if you did. So, yeah. I've been Random Ross and this has been my top 10 anticipated horror movies for 2023. So, until next time, don't have nightmares.